this opportunity to just say what this is real fast in, in case that you don't have some kind of extensive Christian background. Uh, we're going to have baptisms now. We're going to put some people under the water here. And you may be wondering, what is that? And why do you people do it? Uh, first of all, baptism is an act of obedience. The Bible tells us that one of the first things you do after you believe in Jesus is you get baptized. Uh, obviously, sometimes there's a time lag. Like some folks got baptized when they were kids. But um, we, we kind of see like infant baptisms and things like that as an expression of the parent's desire, a good heart, wanting the best for their children. But we encourage anybody that believes later on to make that decision for themselves as an adult who has faith in Christ. So that's, that's part of it is an act of obedience. And secondly, it's a declaration of faith. When these people go under the water, what they're saying is that I, this is me, going into Christ and His body. And when they come up, what they're saying is I'm being raised into newness of life. This is also a declaration of intent. From now on, I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. I'm learning from Him. I'm not taking my cues from anybody else. So this will be what, what's happening as these, three, as these three people get in the water up here. We're going to start with Laura. Yeah. We'll start with Laura Fling. Um, so I just want to say that uh, I'm really excited about today and um, just that I feel so blessed to have so many friends and family who came from all over to support me. Um, so I'm just going to share a, a quick testimony. Um, about my journey. Um, so it was about 30 years ago that my parents baptized me as an infant and um, like John was saying, they made a commitment to raise me um, going to the church and um, just in a loving family and I'm so grateful for my parents um, for um, just all the love that they gave me for raising me and teaching me to know Jesus. Um, so it was later in high school um, when I started to question my belief um, and through a lot of things, but I think most importantly, my sister, um, who's also here today, all the way from Atlanta, and my parents from Chicago, so I'm very blessed to have them here. Um, but I think just seeing her faith um, was one of the things that led me to put my faith in Jesus um, and start a relationship with him. And so that's sort of where my journey began. Um, it was about six years ago that I, I sort of started to realize that, um, that I was really following Jesus more on my own agenda and for things that I wanted. Um, so it was at that time that I uh, gave my whole heart to Jesus and just said that I really wanted to follow him and obey him wherever he would lead. Um, and that's uh, what led me, um, one of the decisions that led me into international student ministry. And so I'm also very excited to have some of my international friends here today, um, all over. <laughs> um, and they're, they're very special to me. And um, I'm very, I feel very blessed to be a part of um, God's great commission to tell all the nations about Jesus Christ, about his, his death on the cross um, for us, um, to save us from our sins. And um, so that uh, brings me to today, and I'm deciding to be baptized today as a step of obedience, um, just to share with all of you, with my church, my friends, my family, that um, I have made a commitment and put my faith in Jesus that um, I want to obey him um, for the rest of my life. And I realize this is the start of a journey, like John was saying, to continue to learn and grow and be more like Christ. Um, so I just wanted to share a verse that was important to me um, in my journey. Um, it's in John chapter 3, uh, verses 3 through 8, when Jesus is talking to um, Nicodemus. And he says, in reply, Jesus declared, 
I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old, Nicodemus asks. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, I tell you, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the spirit. Uh, if the family wants to come up close for pictures or friends or whatever, you can do that now if you'd like. It's up to you. Commitment. <laughs> And I gotta say, y'all, this water is cold. Um, that's commitment. Yeah, that's that's commitment. We we tried to put a heater in this thing at one point, and it's like God didn't like it. <laughs> it just kept breaking. Jesus, I just thank you for today, and um, just thank you for all my friends and family who are here. Um, I thank you, Lord, for the uh, the sacrifice you made on the cross, uh, on the cross to um, save me from my sins. Lord, I just pray that um, you would be with me in my journey, that you would continue to help me to grow um, and be more like you, and, and I pray that you would be glorified. I pray all this in Jesus' name. We baptize this woman, Laura, into the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God. Well, hey guys, as you all know, I'm here you baptized today. I'm just going to give you a little story of like how I got here today. Um, essentially, when I was kind of growing up, I've kind of always been Christian, but I didn't really know what that meant until very recently. Um, around like, you know, sixth grade, like ninth grade, you know, my middle school and high school years, I always went to church with mom, my mom, but I would always kind of like come out and she would always ask me like, hey, um, what'd you learn today? And I had no idea. Ten minutes after it was over. I was like, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> so... It came, it, when I came to college, I realized that up to that point, I was like, wow, I haven't really taken my faith seriously. And I wanted to change that. So I kind of joined Oasis, which is like branch off of GCA at OSU. And um, kind of like came to fruition my faith there, uh, with the help of Seth and Ray over there. And yeah, I'm just kind of ready to admit that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior today. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not It's like 10 degrees outside. He's changing his mind. All right, a little prayer? All right. All right, thank you, Lord, for bringing us all together on this day. Um, please let uh, the people here take something out of this today. And, let this baptism be a, a step in my Christian life to further follow the you and become more like you in faith. Thank you. Amen. Baptize Jordan in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Mike. Um, Similar to Laura, I was baptized as a child. Um, I middle school, then went through um, confirmation, but it was always kind of, you know, this is 
the trajectory my life was supposed to have. This is these are the things that I was um, supposed to do. It never, I had no real concept of what any of it meant. Um, it wasn't until college, my college years, when I stopped going to church, and I still kept feeling the pull to go back, and I, I didn't know, you know, what that was, and but just kept feeling, you know, the nagging. Uh, for lack of a better term, but the, the pull, um, the call to, to come back and devote the life of service that I knew that I was supposed to, to have to, to Christ for the gift that he has given me. Um, it wasn't until I started coming to GCA that I, I began to see the, the joy um, that, that living the life that we're called to have reflected in the people around me and the people that went to the church here. Uh, and so, you know, today I'm just here to do, you know, finally declare that it is my own choice and that um, this is something that, that I want for myself and that, you know, say, you know, to say to the public that I've accepted the gift that Christ has given me and um, ready to take that next step forward in my journey with him and with my faith. That one is crazy. <laughs> he knows. Don't look at it. scary. Heavenly Father, just thank you for the, the gift that you've given all of us here and for the, the death of your son that we may spend eternity with you. Lord, with this act, I, uh, I commit my former self and sinful body to be in tune with you forever and come out a uh, new person in Christ. Yeah. Baptize Michael in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.